So hello friends, I'm Oom and today we're diving in the fantastic world of Linux. And today we're gonna talk about Linux laptop and in particular I wanna talk about KD Slimbook 6. So let's get started shall we? So here we are and this is the new and latest KD Slimbook 6. And to say the truth, this is one of the best laptops I've ever seen. The aluminium body along with the specs, it's, it comes with Ryzen 7 8845H S series processor. You know, this is one of the most powerful CPUs right now out there. One of them. And it comes with Radeon 780M graphics with 12 cores GPU. That is amazing. And then not to forget, the KDE desktop along with the KDE's own operating system which I believe is KDE Neon. And I must say, I love KDE applications and particularly I love Kden Life. I've used Kden Life for years and I must say, if you have a PC without a de dedicated GPU, you have only an integrated GPU, then KDE Plasma Desktop and KDE's Kden Life is the best video editing operating system and workflow you can get out there on Linux. Like really, Kden Life is really powerful, almost equivalent to the Vinci Resolve, except you know, you can see the layout, it's way too old, it's not even traditional anymore, it's outdated. But besides that, it gets your work done. And this laptop is just perfect, like, like really, this is the most perfect laptop made to run Linux out of the box. You can do everything, you can do edit videos, you can code and you can do blender sort of stuff, all of it at ease. And not to forget the amazing KDE Neon and the Plasma Desktop. This is literally beautiful as you can see. And then how can you forget the body of the laptop? It's fully aluminium and a lot of, you know, real life usable ports. And the best part, the screen. It's 2.5K 100% sRGB, 16 inch 120 hertz anti-glare 16 ratio 10 display. It's literally the best display at this point. Not the best, but the best for Linux users. Not to. All in all, I can say that this is the best Linux laptop I've ever seen. Like really, and not to forget the feel and look. You know, like Apple's MacBook, which comes with their own ARM CPUs, which are like M1, M2, M3. But Linux has their own series, the KD Slimbook. It's almost equivalent to MacBook for Linux users, like Linux book. That's why it that is why its name is KDE Slimbook. But you see, not a, I wanna tell you the real reason why this is a failure. Like, it depends on what you call a success or a failure. If you want to create something amazing, then this is the success. But as a business point of view, it's gonna fail as compared to others. Let me show you why. So you see, they have their website which where we can buy this Slimbook. And right now they have the 16 inch model. And look at the price, almost $1100. My god. Okay, look, wait, it's not even dollars, it's euros, which means almost like 1200 euro dollars. Almost equivalent to like, what can we say? 1100 euros to USD. That is $1200 almost. Let me change it to INR. This is 1 lakh 2000. Like, at this price point, you can get a better laptop with better specifications, better display, better aluminium body, all of it better than this particular machine along with windows. Like really, just take this, let me show you. My own laptop is better than this at some level for me. Let me show you why. I, I also have an AMD Ryzen 7 5800 HS series processor which is literal beast. Along with that 16 gigs of RAM as equal to that, I have 4 times more storage than that and an RTX 3050 laptop GPU with 4 gigs of RAM. And all of that is almost half the price of this laptop. I have a 15.6 inch display which is a nice one. It's 100% sRGB along with 144Hz display so I can do anything I want. And yeah, not to forget the webcam. The You see, right now what you're seeing this is the webcam of this laptop so you can actually predict like how bad this laptop is not bad how overpriced it is if it was like you know third fourth of its price like around 700 to 800 dollars this would be the best laptop at its price point in the market but 
at 1100 euros which is equal to 1200 dollars which is also equal to 1 lakh rupees this is not the ideal laptop a person would like to buy especially with linux on it like we all think like we all think if we are removing windows and installing linux on a device then it should reduce the overall price of that laptop or windows or any pc but it's actually the opposite let me tell you how you see linux laptops these days by most of the companies except the specific ones like linux laptops from dell hp and others they all are popular brands so they want to produce a linux machine which is made for linux enthusiasts which means it is like a special edition that is why they are overpriced let me show you how let's take hp dev 1 for example that one was a nice laptop and i loved it unless i saw the price let me show you hp dev 1's price so this is laptop it'll load in a minute right there it is it's almost 1,89,000 which is almost equal to $2,000 and the specifications are not up to the mark not like really my this particular laptop which I have right now is almost like seven or eight hundred dollars that's it and this laptop has better specifications than a two thousand dollars laptop just because it is built for developers or Linux enthusiasts and comes with system 76's pop os hell no no one's gonna buy it that's why they stopped producing it let me show you another example let's take dell xps developer edition its price was like really let me show you where it is where it is there it is 1150 dollars my god i have an 800 dollars laptop and it is better than all of them let me show you another one like choose any one Let's go to System76. You see, there was one laptop I liked in particular which was System76's Orex Pro laptop. It was a literal beast for Linux PCs. But you see, first thing, it was not available in India. And second thing, it was way too overpriced. Let me show you. Go to the laptop section. Oh my god, my internet. Well, what is this? Cosmic is here. Try out a new desktop environment. Alpha for Pop OS and other Linux distributions, which is Cosmic Desktop Environment. And then we have the other thing which seems more interesting to me Computers for AI, the world's smallest and quietest called GPU workstation for machine learning and AI. Yep, the workstations, they are literally amazing. You see, now I get it. The desktops by System76 are a little overpriced because of their handcrafted in the US, handcrafted, you know. But then talk about their laptops. You see, in my opinion, overall, a Linux laptop is usually overpriced by these sort of companies like Slimbook, System76, or what was it, Tuxedo OS. All of them are a little overpriced, a lot overpriced than their original worth is because they don't have equipments like popular manufacturers like Dell or others. And due to that, usually the cost of making a Linux laptop increases a lot you see they have ultra portable laptops thin and light series then they have the beast powerful graphics laptop so we're gonna go there there we go then they have this orex pro 16 inch laptop which is my favorite and look at the price two thousand dollars let me show you what are the amazing things about it which will cost you two thousand dollars so you're gonna get an i9 24 core h series cpu which is a literal beast along with an nvidia 40 series gpu 8 tb of storage and up to 96 gigs of ram a 16 inch 1200p display with 165 hertz refresh rate overall a literal beast and to say the truth this actually makes sense unless you want to use the full potential of your PC, but look at the price. Like, you see, the build quality is amazing. The overall laptop's design is amazing. Now, this is the best part. It has the latest generation HX series processor up to 5.8 GHz. My God, that's a literal beast. You see, all the specifications are maxed up, but it costs $2,000. Like, I can get a laptop of almost like, like, what 1200 or 1300 dollars and the build quality will be a lot better than this one and it'll cost me around like seven to eight hundred dollars less but i actually like this setup like really i have a nice laptop i'd like a setup like this one it's like 
a pure amazing thing for content creation. You see it's using KDE desktop environment and it has speakers along with it along with some amazing microphones. It's like a proper setup and someone is streamed from there. Right, so it's a Linux gamer setup and all of it, all of it is provided by System76, right? Like, I wonder, are Linux laptops really worth their price? Because in my opinion, most of the Linux systems, like if you're not using Blender or if you're not using the studio version of the Vinci which actually costs $300, if you don't have to use those two things, then you will not be able to properly utilize the full potential of your desktop. That is the harsh reality I personally experienced when I tried Linux on this powerful machine and I was not able to get the same performance as in Windows. Like right now I'm using Windows and this particular setup is based on it and in my opinion it's pretty nice. Like my whole workflow is on Windows and I actually like it. I like the proprietary softwares like Notion, Heavy R with ideas. Let me show you my home. So it's a matcha theme which actually looks nice. I really nice like it. But besides that, you see the Vinci Resolve which I don't have to purchase the studio version just to use MP4 and MQV video files. That's the reason I like Windows over Linux. And maybe that's, the, that's probably the main reason why. Linux laptops are failure if we compare them to other distributions. Like let me tell you a story. You see recently a startup for India was you know producing amazing laptops with their own operating system which was Android based. You might have heard of it Prime OS the best operating system Android operating system which you can get for Android gaming. But you see now imagine. If you have a cheap, very very low end hardware lying around and you install Prime Book, Prime OS on it and sell it, like, yep, that seems a nice idea. You grab a low end PC, put Prime OS into it and sell it on a little overpriced. It is like around $200. Now, let me tell you a real truth. Okay, the price has dropped. Prime Book is around 10,000, 12, 12. It's almost like $150 here and there. So you get an ARM Android chip which is really low powered along with a bad battery, a very very bad screen and a really cheap plastic build. But yeah, at this rate, $12.99, like 12,000 rupees or approximately 13,000, it's near $170. At this price, you're getting a proper laptop with keyboard and mouse along with Android operating system which mimics the desktop. Seems like an amazing startup, doesn't it? And a lot of people bought it. Just look at that, so loud. And it got a huge investment at Shark Tank. You see, out of their five, not five, out of their four variants, three of them are so loud. You see, Prime Books are, what can we say, like, in terms of a new startup, it's a great start. But if you ask people's opinion and people's review, then Prime Books are not the right thing to purchase at this price point. Yes, you are getting a laptop, but it's actually even worse than using a phone at it, at this price. If you purchase a tablet, an Android tablet at the same price, you'll get better hardware, better display, along with maybe keyboard and mouse. And that's the reason I believe that Primebook will not survive in the future, unless they increase a increase the price a little or upgrade the hardware. If if right now they had like Samsung DeX, you know, Android with a nice desktop, if they had some sort of Samsung DeX operating system put into a mediocre level, like decent hardware with a little better screen, like make it around 20,000, then this will be just the perfect laptop and it will be a success, you know, success. But in India, it's not possible, I believe. Like, it is possible unless you got the point right. So, I believe that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you do, then subscribe for daily dose of awesome risk content uploaded on this channel. And I'll meet you next video. Till then, I'm Ung, signing out.